Больше, чем одно, в смысле? Да, у кого было? If you guys had more than one source of fear, raise your hand. If it's more than one source. Вот сейчас покажите пальцем прямо в теле, где у вас эти места. I want you all to point with your finger to the areas where the fear came from. Прям палец все поставьте каждый. Keep да? it there. Keep the finger there. Теперь вы знаете, где у вас живет страх. Now you know where your fear lives. Это метафорически. Of course, this is a metaphor. Посмотрите, у всех он в разных местах. You can, you can notice that everybody is different and some people even uh, pointing to their heels. Что такое страх вообще в теле? So what is fear living inside a body? Uh, можно представить себе это как место наибольшего скопления напряжения в теле. Physically, it manifests itself as a place of maximum tension or accumulated tension. Когда мы задерживаем дыхание, что происходит с телом? When we hold our breath, what happens? To the body. What happens to the body? Tensions creep in. Of course, it's uh, both in uh, body and psyche. That's why I don't want you to, to have this frantic inhale first when you uh, start breathing. Because inhale is always more tension. Your body is already tensed enough to the maximum. If you try to inhale more, then that, that's going to bring even more tension to the uh, overly tensed body. Again, we found our place, we found where the maximum tensions reside inside of us. Now, a couple of words about the methodology of approaching that and teaching someone to deal with fears. Basically, there are two main directions. One is you can suppress the fear, it becomes aggression. You just have to know that aggression is always fear, it's basically one and the same animal. Чем более агрессивен человек, тем больше внутри у него сидит страха. The more aggressive the person is, the more fear they carry around with them. Почему нельзя бояться агрессии? So we should not be afraid of aggression. Потому что это просто другое лицо страха. It's just a different face of fear. That's all. Итак, первый способ – это загнать страх глубоко в тело. So that's method number one, to suppress it and, and hold it, store it inside the body. Как это сделать? How do you do that? На каждый малейший момент, когда страх начинает человеке шевелиться, every time when fear starts moving around, coming out of, the, of its den, отвечать жестким агрессивным действием. Do something sharp, aggressive and harsh. Штыком, кали. Let's say bayonet, sharp attack. Go. Или с пистолетом. Or pistol, same thing. Что происходит? So what happens? У меня есть агрессия, и я не чувствую страха. Now I have aggression, and I don't feel fear at that point. Это такая иллюзия. But that's an illusion. Что происходит? What is really happening? Когда-то в какой-то момент времени вот то, что тебя пугает, будет таким огромным, что вот эта твоя агрессия не поможет. At some point, the fear is going to grow into an enormous monster, such to such monstrous size that you cannot overcome it with aggression anymore. And that, that fear that you were trying to put down and, and hold down for all those years will all of a sudden come out of you and it will, it will break you from the inside out. It's going to burn a hole in you. And then unfortunately for the rest of the person's life, that's a, a complete and unrestorable breakage. There's also a second negative aspect of that. If somebody, if somebody is just somebody stepping on your shoulder from behind, and the person starts point punching in the face right away. Maybe a long time ago it was appropriate. But you live surrounded by peaceful people in a family. And it just becomes just unbearable to live with a person like that. <coughs> so the aggressive way is simple, easy, and can be accomplished in, uh, in a few days, perhaps weeks. But you just have to know the consequences and the price to pay. The more time comes, the more disabled and crippled the person becomes. 
Now, we're talking about an altogether different direction of working with fear. We want to figure out how the fears work inside of us. We take them out of ourselves, outside of us. We take a look at them. Some of them we say goodbye forever. And some of them we negotiate with. If you talk about the core, the essence of Systema, this is uh, the desire to achieve freedom. Getting rid of fear and fear and you get rid of them one by one. And when you're free from fear, then you're totally free. We'll talk about how to get rid of the fear, that's one thing, but let's talk about the fear negotiation process. Imagine that the fear is an avalanche in the mountains. It starts with a little pebble, it comes and trickles down into more. Then more and more in a few seconds the avalanche becomes unstoppable. But if you're there to prop up the first pebble, not, not let it fall down, there's no, there's no avalanche. So here's the bottom line. It really boils down to three basic premises. First of all, getting to know the fear, recognize it. When it starts moving around you, it's recognized. Second, find a tool that allows you to reduce the fear, to soften the impact of the fear on you, on your body. And then you apply to different situations so that when the, the fear starts moving inside of you, then you, uh, you learn to recognize the fear in various contexts. And then you find a tool that is appropriate for the situation, so that the tool will help diminish the and, and reduce the fear. It all boils down to one way. Actually, all tools are one. Holding the breath is an excellent tool for that. So how do you get rid of this? How do you get rid of fears is by breathing. The third point I didn't mention uh, is, and it's very important, the attention has to be inward. If all of your attention is outside in the outer world, then you will not have enough attention to, um, to understand the fears coming out. Most of the time our attention is outside. It's books, internet, TV, you name it. So people rarely look inside. But that's exactly what we need to do. Let's do it. Let's learn that.